Welcome back to the channel, everyone. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up down below. You can also follow me on Twitter at SuperHiveDC. Link is in the description, as well as a link to my merch. If you are interested, I just dropped some new designs as well. So make sure you check that out. Um, hoodies, t-shirts, joggers, stickers, you know, all kinds of fun stuff. So thank you to everyone who's been supporting my channel. I appreciate it so much. Um, thanks to you guys, I was able to order some new equipment for recording and streaming, and I'll be doing an unboxing video for that when it arrives. But just want to thank you again so, so much for all the support. I really do appreciate all of it. Um, so, there has been a lot, you know, everyone's been waiting for some Zack Snyder's Justice League content. We know that we should be getting, um, <clears throat> we know that we should be getting a trailer soon, a countdown to the trailer, as Zach had said before on Vero, um, a new poster. So everyone's just waiting for Zach to share something. It's been a while. The last stuff he shared was the Wonder Woman photos, um, the one, you know, the original one of her at the Crimean War, and then the one from her in Zack Snyder's Justice League. So it's been a while since he shared anything, but we know they are working very hard to get the, the movie finished for us. Um, so... <clears throat> He did share a new picture on Vero. Um, let me get to it really quick so I can remember what the caption said. It's a it's a scene with Cyborg. All right, cup of tea down at CO3, working on Zack Snyder's Justice League. Looks to be obviously a picture of Cyborg. He's there in the hoodie in this scene. Um, it's not extremely clear. I think it's because the lights in this room, when you take the picture, it's it's a little. It's not super like high definition picture. But we can see him there, so um, it doesn't look like a familiar shot to me from the movie unless it just looks different. I can't recognize what's behind him, unless that's part of when he's in his house talking to his dad. I can't really tell. Um, <clears throat> but it seems appropriate for Zach to share a picture of Cyborg if he's going to share anything right now, just because of everything that's been going on with Ray Fisher and the <clears throat> you know Justice League investigation situation. Um, I also made another video, <clears throat> excuse me, on that the other day. So if you're interested in that, you can watch that. But if you're just going to leave um, nasty comments in the comment section, I'm not here for that. That's not what my channel's about, so don't waste your time doing that. Um, and then, of course, in the comment section of, you know, anytime Zach posts something on Barrow, there's usually some goodies in the comment section if he replies to, he always replies to some stuff, you know, comments or questions. So let's go through some of those, shall we? This is a big one. This is a big, this one's pretty important because there's been a lot of speculation back and forth on whether or not the movie is still going to be um, episodes or it's going to be just a one straight four hour movie. And Zach is putting that, he's pretty much confirming right now that it's just going to be one long four hour movie. Okay, he says, he, he replies to a couple of comments on that. So is this still a series or a one-shot watch of a movie? And Zach says, one shot. Okay. Um, I heart Ray Fisher. Zach says, me too. So, so, you know, showing his support for Ray Fisher. We know that they have a very close bond and they're, you know, Ray really has a lot of <clears throat> appreciation and respect for Zach. And Zach has said many times, you know, Cyborg is the heart of the movie. So we get to really see that in now. Are all the visual effects done? And Zach says just a handful of shots coming in. So the last couple of like streams that Zach was on, the last one was comic book debate. Um, in that interview, they asked him, you know, I think that's the one I'm remembering. Pretty sure. Um, how like far along or that he's like they're like 99% dead but you know of course there's a lot of other finishing touches and stuff they have to go and you know make sure everything is just the way they want it okay also we need this in theaters it's the best most ideal way to see this spectacle I'm from Nigeria and we don't have HBO Max or the rest Zach said I want that for you we know that he is probably you know pushing very hard for a theatrical release of some kind whether it's limited whether whatever you know because Zach, um hbo max is not a global um platform it is available in some other countries outside the u.s but it's not like 
as widely available as maybe Netflix or something like that. It does take a while for um, streaming services to become available internationally. Even Disney Plus, you know, it takes a while because all countries have, you know, countries have different um, regulations and, you know, things that you have to go through for them to be approved in other countries. So it's not just like, oh, there's a streaming service and it's available everywhere. No. But that's also another reason why um, it's pretty important. It's a, it's a good sign that Zack Snyder's Justice League is appearing on iTunes and Roku and um, uh, Google Play as an upcoming feature. So hopefully that means it'll be on there too. Can we expect a poster for Zack Snyder's Justice League? And Zack says soon. Um, so again, we've been expecting that for a while now. So it's a four hour long movie. I'm gonna have a lot of work to make gifts of all of it. And that's from Fran. He's, um, he makes a lot of the awesome gifts that we see on, if, you've, if you're on Twitter or even on you know, Instagram. Zach said that he liked him, that he likes his gifts on one of the streams he was on for Deck the Hall of Justice. And Zach again says, solid four. So there's another confirmation that it's going, not going, to, it's not going to be episodes, okay? Um, going back to the four hours, so is it, it's four hours with credits or without credits, and Zach says without. So that is four hours of just pure content, okay? Pure Zack Snyder's Justice League. Hi boss, is Zack Snyder's Justice League still uncompromised? We really worry. And yeah, I totally understand that for sure. Especially when we see, you know, the stuff going on with Warner Brothers and like all of that. It does make you worry um, if, you know, Zack is still getting his complete vision, but he says, not even in the face of Armageddon. So he is just really like, you know, reassuring us that this is exactly what he wants. Okay, that's what we're getting. Poster and release date soon. Yes, um, everyone is just waiting by the minute for that, you know. Um, the title is officially Zack Snyder's Justice League and Zack says it is. So that's another thing people have been, you know, wanting like a hard confirmation on. It's not going to be, you know, the director's cut, Zack Snyder's cut. Like, we want his name in there, in that title. We want it to be obvious that this is not the same. This is not just the director's or whatever cut of what we got in theaters. This is so much more than that. Will there be an after credit scene? Zack said no. Um, he, already, he had mentioned that before, too, when someone said that. He, Zack's not really big on that kind of thing. He usually does, um, uh, like, epilogues, not really, like, a credit scene. He just answered my question saying March is still the release month and Zach says it is. That's another thing I think people were wondering about recently because of the um, <clears throat> Godzilla vs. Kong being moved up to March. I don't really know why that is. Um, it happened, the, the announcement for that happened the same day as Ray Fisher shared the recording from his, inter from his um, conversation with the Warner Media investigator. I don't know if it's for... <clears throat> To detract attention from that. I don't know if they had planned on this for a while. I don't really know, but um, I don't see why they would move it up to March knowing that Zack Snyder's Justice League, which is going to be a huge, you know, project for them to have exclusively on HBO Max. I don't know why they would move it up to the same month as this one. Um, I don't know, but it looks like they're still keeping Zack Snyder's Justice League for March. Hopefully there's at least like a few weeks between them. Because Godzilla vs. Kong is like, I think the 26th, and March is the release date. It's going to have the simultaneous release in HBO Max and in theaters. <clears throat> Hopefully Zack Snyder's Justice League is going to be like in the beginning of March. That way there's some at least space between the two. 99.95% um, done, Zack said yes. So, um, yeah, it's going to be the big takeaways are that it's going to be a four hour, straight four hour movie. Zach is still pushing for a theatrical release um, and that the official title is Zack Snyder's Justice League. So, and we will be getting a poster and release date soon and the trailer, Super Bowl's coming up, um, not too far away. So, you know, that's usually an ideal time for ads and, you know, TV spots or whatever. Like I had said in another video, I highly doubt we'll be able to show like a full length trailer during the Super Bowl. That's probably not likely, but they may have a TV spot or something. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if it's included even in just like an HBO Max um, ad if they run something during Super Bowl, which I 
don't see why they wouldn't. Um, they're still a pretty new streaming service that's still trying to, you know, gain subscribers and things like that. And doing these simultaneous releases, you know, they're still trying to get um, people on board with their streaming service, which it is a great streaming service. They have a lot of good, um, a lot of good content on there. Um, but I won't be, I won't be surprised to see the numbers really spike um, in March. But yes, our release date, official release date coming soon. Um, yeah, always fun, always good stuff that we find out when Zach shares something. So um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, check out the links in the description. I appreciate all of the support so, so much. I have been doing live streams pretty much every week now since I started. So make sure you try to catch one of those if you're available. They usually, they've been pretty, they've been ending up towards the end of the week. But sometimes I just decide to do one and I'm like, hey, I'm live. <laughs> but I'm trying to keep them kind of, you know, somewhat around the same time or same day every week, depending on if I'm going to have, you know, sometimes I'll schedule around if people are going to join me or whatever. But try to catch those. And if not, they will be available on the channel afterwards. So um, <clears throat> stay safe out there. Make sure you su show your support for Ray Fisher on Twitter if you support him. Um, and thanks, guys, for watching. We will see you next time.